what kind of workouts should I do to lose fat? Should I do this? Should I do that? What's the right? Are they all the same? What should I be doing? I'm so confused. What's up guys? It's Anthony from AB Fitness Center where we help you to lose body fat, gain muscle, and get stronger. Today we're going to be covering the type of workouts that you should do and we're going to be busting a lot of myths today in our part four of our weight loss myths busted series. So let's get rolling with this but before we do please make sure you hit that subscribe button this way you never miss a beat and you get real life appliable fitness information without the fluff and also drop me a like and comment this way it lets everything know wherever you're listening to this on that i'm doing a good job so what kind of workouts should we be doing so first and foremost i want to preface this video by saying if your goal is to get healthier doing anything is better than nothing so you know even if you got up off the couch and went for a walk that's good. You're, you're taking steps in the right direction. And in that case, that exercise is good. But when your goal is to morph your physique, things have to change and there's certain things you need to be doing. Not all exercise is created the same. Not all exercise is the same. Just because you lifted a weight doesn't necessarily mean that you've worked out. Okay, you gotta keep that in mind. So running is a different sti- gives your body a different stimulus than other things. Box jumps gives you a different stimulus than other things. Boot camps give you a different stimulus than other things. Peloton gives you a different stimulus. So all these things, like I said, if your goal is overall health and it's a different story, then yes, all those modalities will be okay. But when it comes to actually transforming your physique, and I'm talking about having that physique that you know when you walk into a room, people are like, wow, that person's fit that person works out. Wow, they look great for their age. I can't believe they look like that. If you aspire to have something like that and kind of have the attention all on you, then you need to be lifting weights. Weight training, progressive resistance training is gonna be the key to building and having that physique. When you step into the room, people are like, wow, that person's in shape. Or when you take off your clothes and your spouse sees you like, wow, you've been working out, honey or you're doing great, you look good. That's the kind of results that we're talking about. And progressive resistance training is gonna give you that. And that's what we do here at AB Fitness Center. So let's talk about it. So when you actually lift weights and done the proper way with progression, meaning that you're always striving to add more weight to the bar, do more reps um, and do more sets, things like that, um, you know, with smart compound movements, things that are actually gonna change your physique. So like doing barbell squats, big compound movements, deadlifts, bench press, overhead press, you know, and again, even if you have an injury, you can still do other movements that will give you the same effect from doing those movements. But basically what those things actually do is they help to sculpt your body, change your physique. Again, like I said, you know, changing the way your body looks is the goal. And I probably should preface this video by saying, again, if your goal is, my disclaimer that I always talk about in every video, if your goal is to change your body, you need to change your nutrition. 70% of your results, whether you wanna lose one pound, whether you wanna lose five pounds, or whether you need to lose 60, is gonna stem from good nutrition. 70% of those results are gonna stem from there. But my disclaimer aside, (laughs) weight training in itself helps to sculpt your physique. It helps to increase your whole body strength. Again, doing movements like squats, bench press, deadlifts, overhead press, real working out movements are are designed to get your whole body as a unit stronger. Okay, so you'll be able to do more things around the house. You'll be able to, you know, have more energy as well. So lifting weights this way also increases your resting metabolic rate. Unlike cardio or boot camp where you're just burning a bunch of calories. This gets to the root of the problem and increases your metabolic rate. Remember, muscle is active tissue in your body. Muscles help you move and muscles help to speed up your metabolism. So the more muscle you have, the bigger the bases of calories you have to burn, which is why when a man and a woman go on a diet, the men always lose more weight than women because they carry more muscle mass. So this is why lifting weights with progression and properly the way that I'm explaining in this video is going to help to morph your physique. It also helps to improve tendon and ligament strength. Okay, remember when you just go running, you're not really improving those muscular strengths. Whenever we start to lose muscle mass, a lot of the pressure ends up on those joints, tendons, and ligaments. So those are, that's, not, that's not good. No bueno. That's not good at all. So we need to be focusing on that. It's also one of the other benefits you're going to get from that. So like I told you, there's a difference between doing boot camp. Well, what is it, right? There's a difference between doing boot camp 
style workouts and doing progressive weight training um, programs. So what's the difference, right? So boot camp is a large group of people together in one room, jumping around, sweating. You know, maybe they are lifting some weights, but it's, there's no real periodized proper way to train. It's just working out. And that's good because again, like I said, it's better than nothing. But when your goal is to take off your shirt and other people to realize it, <laughs> or for to have your spouse notice you in the, you know, just around the house, then different story. You need to be, again, lifting weights with progression through proper smart periodization. So again, like I said, doing movements like squats, deadlifts, bench press, movements that utilize a lot of muscles at once will give you the best bang for your buck doing that. So that's the difference between that, right? Boot camp, like I said, it's kind of like, okay, here's the workout of the day. You go, you go there, you sweat. You kind of lift a little bit of weights, and that's good because you're going to be burning some calories, but again, it doesn't get to the root of the problem. Whereas versus a smart training program like we do here, you know, that's when you're really going to be, okay, I'm training my body, body parts two or three times a week. I'm utilizing full body compound movements. I'm doing them with progression. I'm building up with weight slowly. I'm progressively making my muscles stronger. Whereas with boot camp, you're just kind of sweating. So that's the difference between those two. Cardio. Cardio is good. Again, like I said, it's good for your overall heart. I actually did a video on it. I think it was part two in this series. So you can go back and check that one out. So cardio has its benefits, but cardio is just burning calories. It doesn't get to the root of the problem and help you to transform your physique. Like I said, if your goal is to walk into a room and people to be like, wow, they work out. That person looks phenomenal. Cardio is not going to be the only thing that's going to get you there. You need to be training those muscles. So that's the difference there. Again, workout, change your body. Big difference. Cardio is a workout. If you're looking to change your body, you have to invest in this category. All right? Machines. People go to the gym and they just do all the machines in the gym. Machine training is good, again, like I said, because it's better than nothing. But when you work a machine, so for example, there's a machine in the gym called a leg extension. So you sit on it <laughs> and then you kick your legs in and out just like that. Again, my analogies. But you kick your legs in and out just like that. And that's good, you're gonna be working some muscles, but you're gonna work four muscles when you do that. That's the muscles of the quads. Whereas when you do something like a squat, you're gonna work over 280 different muscles in your body. You're gonna be challenging all those muscles. Which one do you think is gonna give you the bigger bang for your buck? The squats, right? Because now you're gonna be working everything. You're working your core, your glutes, your, your hamstrings, even your upper body to help stabilize that weight on, okay? So that's the difference between machines and that. Machines only work muscles in isolation, which again has its place in time, but free weight co compound movements are gonna give you a bigger bang for your buck. I know you don't wanna spend hours in the gym. You know, you're not all Schwarzenegger. You don't need to spend two, three hours in a gym. You need to get in, do what you have to do, and get out and get your best bang for your buck. And let's say you clicked on YouTube and you watched a couple of YouTube videos of people jumping around. Same concept as boot camp. It's good, better than nothing. But you're just burning calories. You're not getting to the root of the problem. You're not adding muscle to your frame, which again, more muscle, better metabolism, more for your physique makes you stronger. You're just burning calories. So again, I talk about this all the time. It's almost like if you got sick and you went to the doctor, the doctor gives you antibiotics to help you not be sick anymore. Cardio is the antibiotic. It's the quick fix to, to solve that problem. You do cardio, burn calories. But weight training is equivalent to eating your fruits and vegetables in a healthy diet. That fixes the problem. That prevents you from getting sick because it builds up your immune system. Same thing here. So this myth, busted, guys. You need to be working out. is not all created the same. You need to be lifting weights and training. Ladies, you need to be training like a guy. <laughs> That's basically how it works out. You need to be training with progression, meaning that you need to be doing more every time you step into the gym, whether that's more reps, more sets, more weight, same weight, whatever, with better form. Those are all ways to progressing, and you need to be on a smart program that periodizes your training. Hopefully this video helps you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and watch the other videos in this series for more information so you can take your shirt off and look better naked. I'll catch you guys on the next one.